In this multi-part series, you're learning how to send email directly from Panorama. In the first episode, you learned how to configure Panorama for email. Now I'll actually send some emails. This is done with simple procedures. I'll start with a procedure to send a single basic email. I've already opened a database that contains the email addresses I want to send to. To save time, I've also written the procedures in advance. Now I'll show them to you and explain them line by line. The first procedure sends a single basic email. The last line of this procedure, the send one email statement, is where the email actually gets sent. This statement has four parameters. The first parameter is the return email address. In this case, I've just left it blank so that the return email address I set up in the channel wizard will be used. The second parameter is the send to email address. In this case, the send to address is in a database field named email, so the email will be sent to whoever is specified by the current record in the database. The third parameter is the subject line. I've simply included the subject right in the line. The final parameter is the body of the message. I could have also included this in the line, but instead I set this up in advance in a separate variable. The first line of the procedure sets up the variable. The next line set up the body of the message. Instead of regular quotes, I used three vertical pipe symbols at the beginning and end of the text. Panorama can use vertical pipes instead of quotes for defining text constants. The benefit of this is that it allows you to use quotes inside the text itself, which is sometimes very handy. The procedure's ready to go and I'm ready to send an email, so I'll just press the Run tool. I could also run this from the Action menu or set up a button. Panorama sends my email. Here's what the email will look like to the recipient. I've set up a second procedure that sends out personalized email. In this procedure, the last line is the same as before, except now I define the subject in a variable in advance. I use a simple formula that appends the first and last names to the basic subject line. If you don't know how to create a formula like this, see Chapter 23 of the Panorama Handbook, especially the Text Formulas section. I could use the same technique for the body of the email, but instead I'm using a special statement called Formula Merge. This statement starts with a string of text with embedded formulas. It then calculates the formulas and merges the results into the original text. In this case, there are two formulas merged into the body of the letter. Each formula is separated by curly braces around it. The first formula simply merges in the person's first name from the database. So instead of the email simply saying hello, it will say hello Bob, hello Sue, etc. The second formula merges in the city and state. These are simple examples, but you could expand this to something as complicated as an entire invoice. In fact, here at ProView we do just that. When you purchase something, we generate an entire invoice in text format and automatically send it to you. Here's what this email looks like when it's done. See how the personalized information is merged into the subject and body? For my final example, I'll send a bulk email to a group of recipients instead of just one person. Here's the procedure for that. The first step is to select the group of recipients, which I do with the select statement. The send bulk email statement will send a separate email for every selected record in the database. The first parameter is the from email address, which I'll leave blank to use the default which I set up in the channels wizard. The second parameter is the database that contains the email addresses. Since I'm using the current database, I can just leave this parameter blank also. The third parameter is the name of the field that contains the email addresses. In this case, it is simply named email. The fourth parameter is the subject line for the email, in this case, safety report. The fifth parameter is the body of the email. When using send bulk email, you cannot personalize the message. The exact same message is sent to all of the recipients. If you want to send personalized messages, you'll need to send them one at a time with a loop. We don't have time to cover that in this seminar, but perhaps we'll do that in a future one. You can, however, learn about loops in Chapter 24 of the Panorama Handbook. When you run this procedure, you may need to be a bit patient. 
it can take up to a second or two per email being sent. So if you are sending hundreds or thousands of emails, it may take a while. To learn more about sending emails with Panorama, see Chapter 25 of the Panorama Handbook under the heading Sending Email.